All right. I need to make sure I can see what we got. Push back 
And number five. And four, three, two, and one. Push back and stretch. So anything else that feels tight this morning, give it an extra stretch. We're gonna start our first to body here coming up. Now, if you need an option, I'm gonna try to play around with it. If you're not sure of an option, you just keep moving. Do something that you know. The first one we have is mountain climbers. That's where the hands are under the shoulders. We're driving the knees up the middle. Your goal is to keep your upper body still. If you need to, you can always use a chair or a table for that same focus. Remember, we want to get the heart rate up here. You've got 20 seconds, and then we'll take it down to the floor into a double crunch. Are you ready? Three, two, guys, come on down with me. Your mountain climbers and go. Spread the fingers wide, pull the shoulders to the back, drive the knees right up to the middle. You're halfway. Try to go as fast as you can. Lock in the belly. Four, three, two, one. Nice work, come on down to the knees, roll over. In between, you're always gonna have 10 seconds of rest. We're now going into a double crunch. Looks like this. Pull it in and come back down, go. Squeeze the ribs into the hips. Take the elbows wide, everything nice and tight. You have three, two, one, and rest. Guys, that was one minute down. We're gonna do those exercises three more times. Flip over, mountain climbers, and go. All right, keep going. I'm taking a look. I like what I see everywhere. Drive the knees right up the middle. Hold the body as still as you can. Guys, you have five seconds. Three, two, rest. Come on down to the ground, flip over. On your back. Crunches, double, go. Now here, you wanna keep your lower back firm to the ground. If that doesn't feel right, just go into a crunch. You're halfway. For those of you looking for an extra challenge, maybe you extend the legs. Increase that lever. Three, two, one, stop. Roll over. We're halfway through. Two minutes down, two minutes to go. Now go, run. Speeding up, pulling the belly tight, over halfway. Come on guys, try it a little faster, you're sprinting. Three, two, that's it, I see it. And stop, flip over. You should be breathless now. Now isolation through the abs, go. Whatever you need this to be, slide the ribs to the hips, Extend the legs if you want more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Last time for mountain climbers, I promise. You're not gonna do these again today. Hands under the shoulders, go. Now imagine the floor is hot. You don't want your foot to land for long. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Just make it quick. I see you. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip it over. Isolation, upper, middle, lower, and crunch. Now your gaze is headed to the knees. Can you bring your shoulder blades off the ground a little higher? Guys, over halfway. Three, two, one, and break. All right. So that was our first Tabata interval. You now have 45 seconds before we start our next. Grab a drink, towel off. This first time through, 
may have even felt like a continued warm up, but our exercises are gonna get more challenging and our breaks, we're gonna start wanting them. Your next move, now watch me before we get started. A pop squat means you're here low, knees are spread wide, your hands are gonna come down to the floor, you jack back in the plank, feet go wide, in, and back up. Ready for real time? Down, out, and up. Your options, you can walk it out, and up, you can come here, where you walk in, walk out, just keep moving. If you don't like that, jumping jacks, whatever moves your heart rate. That's your power move, then we'll go into a bicycle. All right, your minute is over. Five seconds, prepare. Hands under the shoulders, let's start in a plank jack. Three, two, go. Out, in, pop. Down, out, pop. I want you to ground the heels, really sink back into the heels, and lift the chest. Stop, flip over. Bicycle looks like this, guys. Hands behind the head, rotate and switch. Go. We're playing in the obliques now, working the waistline. Think about making it as tight and as small as you can. Four, three, two, one. All right, friends, those are our two moves. Come on up. Hands under the shoulders, plank position. We jack the feet up first and go. So remember, if you don't like this, you're walking, you're jacking, you're doing whatever you can to lift the heart rate and get you breathless. Four, three, two, I see so many options, I love it. Stop, come on down to the mat, flip over. Your bicycle, three, two, one, twist, switch, switch, switch. Options here. You can keep the knees bent to shorten the lever. If you're looking for more, drop the foot closer to the floor. All right, guys, are you lifting up? Give it a little extra lift. There it is, three, two, one. I think I made you work a little longer that time. Catch your breath. Hands under the shoulders. Two minutes in, two minutes to go. Three, two, go. Over halfway. Two, and stop. Come on down, flip over. This one's a good one. Bicycle, core isolation. Let's move. Now maybe you speed it up. Reach and pull. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and stop. Good news, if you don't like these exercises, this is the last time we're doing them this way. Yeah? Better news, you can work a little harder that way. Go! Woo, I almost slipped on that one. Halfway. One, flip over. Heart rate, shoulders, core. Let's move your bicycle. Last time, twist, twist. Elbows spread wide. 
Maybe you reach to the other knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have two Tabata blocks down, three Tabata blocks to go. And we're gonna get moving again in 45 seconds. Grab a drink, maybe resituate your, the area or whatever is needed, and take a look. The next move where we start to bring the heart rate up is on our feet, and we're gonna be punching side to side. It's a little old school. It's finding that step motion where we really push, but the bigger you go, the bigger your heart rate goes. If you're a combat person, add that extra punch to the top, and you're gonna feel it more through the shoulders. After that, we head back down to the ground with a pike. Guys, we go in four, three, on your feet, let's punch side to side. There it is. So two ways to do it. You can go fast, keeping the feet low, or bigger, higher, and stop. Come on down to the ground. I know Mika's on here. She was fine in her combat, right? Yes, I see you. Your pipe crunch looks like this. Meet in the middle, fold yourself in half, and go long. Go. Now breathe, exhale as you lift, and try to lift your backside. If it's too much with long legs, go back to the first exercise. And stop. One minute down, three to go. Punching side to side, go. How are you gonna take this? You can go slower and bigger, or smaller and faster. Full body. Four, three, two, one. Come on down. Double pipe crunch. Three, two, one, go. Over halfway. Three, two, one. Switch. So all the timing devices around my house are being used right now for schoolwork. So I'm stuck with my phone or my watch. Ready? Let's punch side to side. 20 seconds. How big can you make the movement? Four, three, two, one. Come on down. Our goal is contrast in the heart rate here as well. So we just brought it high and we bring it down low. Let's go up and down. Maybe you slow down the move. Recruit more muscle fibers this way. Just make sure your back's firm. And stop. Grab the knees, roll it up. Your last minute. These moves this way and then we move on. Three, two, one, let's punch. Come on, let me see ya. Whichever way you're moving. Three, two, one. Come on down. Three, two, one. Lift as high as you can. 
reach for your shoelaces. Can you lift your butt off the mat? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you know the drill. Less than a minute before we get started again. Now take a look at this. Your next move with me, I've never done in class with y'all before. Hands by the hips. If you can, don't worry, I'm gonna give you options here in a minute. For 20 seconds, you're gonna lift into a crab stance and we're gonna kick. You're gonna feel your core have to lock in, your shoulders and arms have to hold still. Now you can also do that with a bench or a chair where you kick. You can also stand here and kick, all right? The idea is we're moving in a place where our body's probably not moved before. So come on down if you're with me. We'll have some hollow holds and leg scissors up next. We move in four, three, lift, and let's kick. You wanna to try to engage the abs, lift the hips as high as you can. Halfway. Uh, three, two, one, rest. Wow. Come on to your back. Hollow hold means your body comes up and it stays. Scissors, back and forth right here. Hayden, if you want, you can even stay lifted. Whatever it takes. 20 seconds, go. Flutter the legs, the faster. Just make sure you're controlled. Belly pulls in. Try to touch the wall with your toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Crab kicks. Hands under the shoulders. Ready, set, go. Now when we talk about core, it's not your six pack abs. I've said it many times, shoulders, the trunk of your body, and your hips. Stop. When we flip over, it's more of that middle isolation. Come up to your hollow hold. Legs long. Go. Tuck the chin. Keep your eyes out to the knees. If you're feeling it too much through the neck, hands behind the head or lower the body down. Use the ground as support. And rest. Grab the legs, roll it over. Three, two, go. I don't know about you, but I've got some sweat rolling down my face right now. Woo! Halfway, guys. Three, two, one, stop. Even my triceps are feeling that one. Three, two, hold, scissor. Now even touch your belly. Feel all the muscles pulling away from your fingers. So draw the ribs deep to the back. Three, two, rest. I do believe this is number four of four. Hands under the shoulders. Three, two, go. Last time we're doing these guys. Over halfway. Come on, can you kick higher? Maybe faster, maybe bigger. Three. Two, one, flip over. Woo. Hollow hold, your scissor, go. 
go. Now lift your shoulders as far off the ground as you can. Reach out. Halfway. Three, two, one. Pull it in. We have one last four minutes of Ada that we're going to work through today. Which will take us just past the 30 minute mark. I don't think they're going to cut us off. I think we're good. There is one move that we haven't done yet. It's your burpee. It takes you so many places that you can do it. You can use this push up at the bottom. You can jump at the top. You can use your bench, your mat, whatever. Looks like this. From standing, down, out. You can push up or not. Feet come in and you jump. Same thing here. You can walk out, walk in and jump. You can add a push up to that bench. The more muscle you get engaged, the better. Ready or not, we go in four, three, two, one. Let's burpee. Halfway. Come on, guys, let me see it. How high can you jump? Hands in the air. Three, two, I love it. Rest. Come on down. Now we're taking all the movement out. We're making it small. Pulsing ab crunch. Three, two, go. So make them small. If you want the little extra, lift your feet and take it out and hold. Ah. Four, three, two, one. All right. One minute down, three to go. Your burpees, maybe you do them differently. Go. Yesterday, we even turned and jumped. Again, as much as your body as you can get moving. I love it. I see you, Ashley. Come on. And rest. Nice work, Amanda. Come on down to the ground. Pulse it up, take it as you need it. Go. Now don't think about anything else about than your abs. Make them as tight and as small as you can. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, we have two more sets to go. This time, I'm gonna give you something different. It's the same move, but I want you to count how many you can do in 20 seconds. So you get a little extra recovery. Three, two, one, go. Count them, how quick can you move?
pulses. Come on in. Together. Come on up. I want you to embrace all that we're feeling through the core. If it's not there, make it your goal to feel it. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now, our last minute together. Because you know what's the core without a plank, right? Hover hold. Elbows are under the shoulders. We're going to try to hold it for one minute. Each day, try to hold it for a little longer. Why not give yourself a different challenge? Come on down. Elbows under the shoulders. You can be on your knees. The wider the knees or the wider the feet, the more stability you will have. One minute on the clock. In four, three, two, one. All right, guys, lock it in. Now, whether you're on your knees or on your toes, you should have one long line from your shoulders to the hips. Notice when I move my knees, my torso does not change. Shift the weight to the forearms, pull everything in tighter. You're 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Embrace all the little shakes. Push deeper into your mat. Reach the crown of your head across the room. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop down to the knees. Push back and stretch it out. All right, let's keep stretching. Stay down for a moment. With all the core movements, lower back is definitely put into a position where it works a little harder. So let the knees fall out to the mat. You can walk your arms to the left and then push your hips to the right. Feel a stretch through the mid body. Now walk it back to the middle. Take your arms to the right and push your hips to the left. Back to the middle, bring the hands and knees under the body, cat cow, draw the belly in. Maybe push back to the hips. Maybe a little rock side to side, open up the chest, take it in to cow and back up. One last time. All right, on the knees or on the feet, open up the chest, bring the arms behind the back. Now this 30 minutes was programmed a little differently. This is one that once we have it saved, can be added on to anything you do. I know so many times we hear, oh, I wanna do ab work. Well, this combined a bit of both. We got the heart rate up, got the body moving. I hope you guys join me at two o'clock if you have kids. I'm gonna do a special PE class for them, but it's for the parents too. We're gonna to count our way through 30 minutes of boot camp. Um, and uh, if you are joining me with them, make sure you have a roll of toilet paper for the end, because I'm gonna use that with the kids. A fun little challenge. Um, anyway, that was the 30 minutes with me. Thank you guys for joining. We're gonna have all kinds of classes coming up here. Today, tonight, thank you guys, Mika, everybody, Hayden, Chelsea, hi. All right, everybody, um, feedback, feedback, feedback is always 